Welcome back, scholars. Let's look at the answers very quickly. When we estimated the first one, we took nine, we made it into 900 divided by 30, which gives us 30. The next one was 400 divided by 100, gives us four. The next one, the answer is five. 150 divided by 30 equals five. The next one, we took 7,200 divided by 80, which gave us 90. And this one was one that you had the day before. 640,000 divided by 80 gives you 8,000. All right, so what is this leading us to? Well, we're gonna learn how to divide. So we need to look at our objective. Can I have a scholar who would like to be a great artist? Read this out loud. Let me pause it. Excellent, yes, I love great orators and hope your, your goal comes true and you become a great artist. Students will be able to divide two and three digit dividends by multiples of 10 with single digit quotients and make connections to a written method. Basically, that, what's that saying is we're gonna use the tabletop method. We're gonna divide numbers that are two or three digits. So they're either gonna be in the tens or the hundreds and they're going to be in multiples of 10. So it's going to be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, up to 100. 100 and then we started again, 120, 100, 110, 130, or 100, 200, 300, so forth. All right? And we're going to get the answer is only going to be one digit with the remainder. All right, let's get started. So we're going to be looking at practicing with the first Problem 70 divided by 30. You know me, Mr. Guerra. I'm going to go straight to making sure I can work it out. Now we're going to go ahead and take the estimate. And we always start off with the quotient. And the quotient is already in a multiple of 10. So it's 30. So I'm going to take a look at this. Now I need to look at multiples of 30. So I can take 30 times one equals 30, 30 times two equals 60, and 30 times three equals 90. Hey, guess what? 70 is between 60 and 90. I always take the one that's less because I know that that will be part of the answer. So I'm gonna look at here, two. My divisor is gonna become 60, I can divide by 10. This gives me six divided by three, and the answer is two. That's gonna help me solve it. Let's solve. Under the tabletop is 70, I'm dividing by 30. I know that I can take two, that gives me 60, gives me 10. Can I divide 30 into 10? No, that becomes my, remind, my remainder. How do we mark that? You all should remember this from third grade. You did lots of practice of this with in fourth grade. So this is practice now. Your answer should look like two, remainder 10. But how do I know that's right? Well, I take two times 30 gives me 60. Then I take 60 plus 10 and that gives me zero. And one is 70. So that gives me 70. Is this the same as this and this? Yes, it is. I did it right. Thank you, guys. Let's go see. Let's get back to our slides, see how well I did. So we're going to estimate it first. I got the estimate of approximately 60 divided by 30. Reduce it by dividing by 10. Scratch out the zeros. That gives me two. I then take that information to solve it, take it under the tabletop. 70 divided by 30 gives me two. Two times 30 is 60 minus 10. 10 is my remainder. This is my remainder. So I write it like this, R10. How do I check it? I make sure that I go ahead and multiply 30 times two, which gives me 60. Then I take 60 plus 10 gives me 70. 
You're going to use what you just learned on this problem here. You have it and draw it. I'll see you in the next video. Have a great one.